Brutal Legend remains one of the most unique experiences you can have in a multiplayer game. Its combination of hack and slash combat with real time strategy keeps it engaging to this day. But with so many different mechanics in the game, it can be a little overwhelming for new players to jump into. With that in mind, I've put together five basic tips to help you get started with the game's multiplayer. These are general strategies that should be employed by any player, with any faction, against any faction, on any map. On some point, I may make a video that involves more advanced specific strategies with factions and maps, etc. But for right now, I just want to give these basic tips for starting players. Number one, make troops right away and move them to geysers right away. In Brutal Legend, capturing and keeping fan geysers is the path to victory. Geyser, geysers provide resources that can allow you to build and upgrade your army to destroy your enemy's base. It is vital that you do not concede resources to your enemy. As soon as the game begins, immediately you should make troops. While the troops are being made, set a rally flag near the geyser as Ironhead or Drowning Doom. As Tainted Coil, you'll need to make your battle nun and then make your troops. So setup time takes a little bit longer, but the principle remains the same. Get your troops made, get them to the geysers, and start hammering your opponent. Number 2. Harass your enemy's troops. Typically while your army is being made and ordered to a geyser, you want to try to scope out what your enemy is doing. If possible, slow the opponent's army down by attacking them. The best way to do this is by shocking them with your guitar or using the grabber move, but other moves can be used as well. Your goal here isn't so much as to destroy the enemy's army, but slow them down, buy time for your army to get to the geyser and draw your opponent's attention. By all means, if your opponent continues to leave their army unguarded, then destroy them, but overall the goal is to slow the enemy down, focus on the geysers. Number 3. Avoid dying. It sounds simple and obvious. Dying obviously prevents you from commanding your army or defending them, but dying in Brutal Legend also gifts your opponent with 50 fans each time you die. Early game, these can be the difference between upgrading a stage, buying more troops, and a few deaths can especially turn the tables when you're fighting a skilled player. If you feel like you aren't going to win a fight against the enemy, bail. If you're fighting Iron Head, you need to watch out for the anvil solo which prevents you from flying. If you see the anvil on your ankle, immediately pull out the guitar and play the car solo to get away. There are times when you may want to trade a death for a kill, like taking out a major enemy unit like the tree back, the dirigible, or the rock crusher, but for the most part, you want to avoid dying as much as you can. Number 4. Use your solos. Early game, you won't have many solos besides Rally Flag, Rally Army, but as Iron Head, you get a solo called Battle Cry, which you can use to buff your army's attack. This is very useful to turn the tide during enemy engagements. Drowning Doom gets something similar, but instead of an attack buff, they get a healing solo called Black Tear Infusion. Tainted Coil gets a solo called Martyrdom, which increases speed and attack speed and movement speed, but also damages the player, so it must be played at full health, away from prying eyes, to avoid death. Ironhead can also block troops from being made from their stage at tier 2. They can also block enemy buffs with a solo once they reach tier 3, and once they reach tier 4, they can play a solo that calls down an AoE damage effect that can devastate an army. As you upgrade your stage, you should be checking the cooldown of your solos to see if they're ready to play. Knowing when to play a solo, what solo to play, does require some strategy and some trial and error, but it can really turn the tide of battle. Don't neglect your solos, they're an important tool in your arsenal. Number 5. Use the car. The car is a very underused part of the meta. The car can be used to get away from enemies, harass the enemy army, and distract certain stage hazards. On the console version, the car has no cooldown and can be summoned immediately after being destroyed. On PC, a cooldown was added to balance the game. If you notice your car about to be destroyed, bail out of it immediately. Once the car is destroyed, while you're inside of it, you'll be stunned, and it's very easy for the enemy to kill you once that happens. So if you see the enemy about to destroy your car, if it's on fire, fly away, let them destroy it, don't get caught in it, but make sure to use your car whenever possible. It's very, very helpful to get away from enemies, harass enemies, generally be annoying. It's all about taking your enemy's attention away from the geysers, away from your stage, away from your army, allowing your army to take geysers, capture resources, build their strength um, while the enemy is busy dealing with you and your tactics. So that's all I have for you guys today. Those are just five basic tips. I think these are things that every player should be doing at some point during a match. 
Um, I may at some point do some more advanced tactics. I may do some more basic ones as well, because I probably can think of a few more. Um, but these are just the five ones that came to mind immediately. I think they're very important to know. But So thank you all so much for watching. If you have any uh, tips that you think are important for new players, or anything that you uh, think I should have included in the video, please let me know. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.